Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I hope that whistling wasn't too hard on the ears. <sighs> so, uh, for those who don't know, I do a segment called Veterans React and Veterans just uh, issues, Veterans Reaction on certain issues that I see I think should be addressed. But what I haven't talked about is how to be successful both in the military and out of the military. This is something that are, are two really different things. There's something that is both principles when you break it down to like the atoms of physics of it yes they're going to be very similar uh but but some things are going to be very different so i'm going to tell you in the military it does not matter what branch you're in whether it's air force army marines if you are good at your job and do your job well and you're not lazy and you're a go-getter that is more than half the battle right there that is 80% of it and the difference of why sometimes people that are really good workers they don't get the recognition that they deserve is because it sucks to say but they don't play the game they either are not a, a woman which women have so many difficulties in there um, you know that they have to deal with but at the same time a lot of commanders at least what I saw uh, at least in my job, and there I was like, oh, all right, uh, you're going to get a uh, senior airman below the zone. Uh, you're going to get, you know, airman of the quarter, airman of the year. Because so sometimes it was deserved, like, hey, you know what, um, Escobar, you are fantastic. You deserve every bit of this, really are. Um, sometimes it was like, oh, no, that does not, does, that does not need to happen. Uh, obviously, you don't say anything, but playing the game is when I say that, I mean, I was, you know, a woman for, for a guy, and, and no, I'm not trying to offend any of the, anyone else out there who wants to become a woman, but the best advice that I have is to try to make your superiors look good. One, get email reference for everything, you know, if, if you're able to, say so like, hey boss, or hey sir, uh, Sergeant, Sergeant, Sergeant Scott, um, you want me to do it this way, right? Um, Sergeant Scott, just clarifying, this is what you want done uh, on this mission, right? And whatever they say, as long, even if it's not the most efficient way to do it, as long as it doesn't endanger the mission, it doesn't endanger people's lives, and you can do the job and get it done that way, even if it's not the most efficient, do it that way, do it the best that you can, as, and this way, when you... In your mind, you say, okay, yeah, I can do it that way. Not the way that I would do it, but I can do it that way. If you do that, you kind of, that's not sucking up, that's not brown nosing. That is doing the job in which you feel is going to keep everybody safe, get the mission done and on time. And this way, you know, a, a month or so, two months, you know, down the line, after working how many dozens, hundreds of missions, um, you know, for for your first sergeant, for your for captain, lieutenant, whatever, you say like, hey, hey boss, I, I have a, I have an idea here. I, just making sure, like, if I do it this way, I feel like I might mess it up because of this, this, and this. Would you like me to do it this way? Put that idea in your boss's head. Plant that seed. Make him or her think that it is their idea, and and this way you'll get it done. And why I'm telling you to do this is because if they have a special duty and they say like, okay, well, who do they want to give that special duty to? Someone that's going to make them look good because there is, there are times where I was like, Hey, you know, this person's my friend. I, I enjoy this person, but if I take this person with me, um, there's a decent chance that there's a small chance that it's going to be slightly harder for me, make my life a little bit harder. Or if I want to task this person to do that job, it might not get done in the most efficient way. It might not look good. I'm going to pick the best worker because that'll make me look good. So if you do that, plant that idea in his or her head, and then you're going to say, like, they're more apt to listen to you. And also, this is going to be hard to hear. This is going to be hard because the basis of everything, don't do anything immoral or legal or unethical. But if you're... First sergeant, if uh, the NCO I see 
uh, is is being like just total hard and just wet their way, or it doesn't get done in subordination. You say, okay, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, we can absolutely do it this way, and then go to your team like, guys, we we can't. Um, we're gonna say we're gonna do it that way, but we're gonna do it this way because, um, yeah, lives. I, I don't want to lose any. I don't want to lose any of you. I don't want to mess up any of this million dollar equipment that we have here. Um, and I, it'll be much safer and more efficient if we do it this way. And we're more likely to not mess anything up. Um, and, and then, yeah, obviously, again, get everything in writing. Because um, that's, God, that's hard. That, yeah, that, that's really hard. But, um, you know, you have to think. Because if you say, like, uh, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, we'll, we'll absolutely do it that way. And then you do it the way that they want, even though it's the, not the right way to do it, your people lose respect for you. And, again, this is kind of in a leadership position. If you're, if you're NCOIC... Uh, and still in charge, but you have orders from, you know, top brass or uh, e even just, uh, you know, mass sergeant or whoever. And again, I'm just using Air Force terms because mass sergeant, <laughs> um, that's where I was. Now, outside of the military, do not be a yes man. That, I mean, if, again, success, my friend Vinny used to describe it as how many people are better off because you lived. Gary Vaynerchuk describes it as happiness are you happy um and success is not all money it is not um i have clients that are worth seven and eight figures so one to 99 million dollars and they hate their lives because they are twice divorced they have kids that their you know wives either poison their mind or they just don't talk to them partly because they're moody teenagers and, and they don't understand that yet uh you know, you know and and my client is just like oh my kids hate me it's like they're, they're, they're teenagers so <laughs> they'll, they'll, love, they'll love you again at some point um and yeah they're, they're miserable and i said money does not I mean, happiness if you're upset with yourself because you're out of shape or because you are um you know not smart enough or or because you just haven't studied you haven't given you haven't put in the work get your butt up do some work, make someone, make it so that if you look at yourself from an outside point of view, be like that person's got their stuff together. They're doing a good job. Whereas, you know, if you're, if you're not, if you just win lotto for $10 million, that'll give you some instant gratification of, Hey, maybe I don't have to pay bills for a while, but a lot of people lottery just kills them. Especially if you're an addict, like, especially if you're like, um, I had a lot of problems with alcohol when I was younger and knew some people, I knew some people that had a lot worse problems than alcohol, um, where yeah, alcohol too, but drugs as well. And they were fine as long as they didn't have money to spend. Cause as soon as they had money, it would go right back. To, they would go and get heroin. They would go and get meth something just make them hot so again money does not solve your issues you still have to deal with yourself so make yourself someone that you can be proud of if you have a friend that's like you know i would love to step out of my skin and be in that person's body because i'm, I'm proud of them they they seem like they have their stuff be that person what you have to do is write down on paper what it is that you would be proud of what you want to achieve and what you want your day to be like I say like, okay, like, what do you want? Write down on paper, what do you want? If, you know, working wherever you're working and, you know, your home life or social life isn't where it wants to be, write down on paper how you want it to be and then make steps to try to get that done. Okay, I'm not happy with my job. Okay, why don't you get a new job? Well, no one's hiring. Why is no one hiring? Is it because you have a fear of being interviewed? Is it because you have a, you know, you don't have anything put on your resume? Get, find out what the problem is figure out and then work on ways to try to fix it. Um, and if they're not hiring you for that position, maybe because you're not qualified. And that doesn't mean you're not smart enough, it just means you don't have the, you have the capability to get those qualifications, you just haven't done it yet. Whether that means going to school, and I'm a big advocate against school, but again, if you wanna be counting or, or do whatever, uh, and you need school, by all means go, if that's gonna make you happy. Um, you know that that being said, I, I have some I have some friends that just making forty thousand dollars a year, 
they do their 40 hours a week or whatever it is, or 30, 32, 36 hours a week, and they do that, you know, they eat, <laughs> they eat what they want to eat, and they uh, play video games, they're in a bunch of, you know, uh, CSGO groups, Call of Duty groups, they're playing Among Us, and I get it, I, lo I love that. And if that's what makes you happy, if you're a family of just like to play video games and you can play it together and you're happy, you're winning. You won. If you can manage to, you know, scrounge up, you know, a couple, you know, like several hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars for one vacation for the family a year, but you're for the most part happy, you're winning. You're doing so much better than everyone else that's, you know, making $150,000 a year and, you know, they're just miserable because they're in this soul-sucking job they hate. Being successful does not always mean money. It means being happy with your life. Um, yeah, for some people, it's it's being goal-driven. Like me, I could sell everything I have right now, say, like, heck to hell with all my charity goals, and I could not work for 20, 30 years. I could semi-retire. Um, but I'm, I'm not happy with that. I'm much happier grinding and building a business and, and, and getting other people's success. How... Like, I built this channel mostly, you know, on the backbone of like, hey, these Pokemon cards are really undervalued. Hey, I like Tesla stock because this, this, and this reason. Um, and then, you know, eventually I got a break with Earth 2. And, you know, a lot of people started following me just because I, I was covering what they don't want to cover or what nobody else is covering. Tim Poole, one of the most successful independent journalists out there, his advice when people ask, like, hey, how do I do what you do? Oh, okay, so, yeah, this is going on in Turkey right now. Um, you know, go grab your cell phone, maybe a laptop or whatever, go buy, go buy a ticket, an aircraft ticket to Istanbul, um, to Turkey. Um, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of Insulik, you know, Air Force terms, uh, and go cover it and be like, I don't want to do that. It's like, okay, then you're not going to be successful as me. Okay. Like I'm, I'm working 18 hours a day. Uh, if you, and, and this is at three different things. If I was doing that at one thing, that one thing would go through the roof, you know, Pokemon would go through the roof. Uh, high risk plan would go through the roof. YouTube would go through the roof. But I'm doing all three of them because I believe in the potential of all of them. Uh, obviously, I, I made a lot of money with those either way. But that's just something that if you want to be more successful at something than someone else, outwork them. In the high risk lending business, I was more successful my first full month there than I was with half the other people that were there for a while. Not because I was a good salesman. Not because I was, you know, had this deep financial knowledge and, and, and literacy of certain things. I was just good at numbers and I worked my face off. I was more successful because I worked harder. I had to work more than, almost twice as hard as they were working to get a little bit ahead, but that's what I was doing. That's what, that's what you have to do. If you want to be financially successful at something that other people are doing, you have to do what they're not doing, and you have to work every waking hour that you can. And that means sacrificing things. That means not going out with your friends on a Friday and Saturday night and missing out on those things depending on what you want. If that's something that gives you great joy and pleasure and, you know, maybe you don't really want, you know, that financial success, um, you know, and you want to be like, oh, I could reach financial success in, you know, four or five years as opposed to 15 or 20 years that's just your call whatever you want but for me like partly the pandemic but i don't see my i i haven't seen some of my friends you know since last year i know it's only february it's like oh well that's you know deployments are longer than that you know there's you know six seven months um yeah but my friends are literally you know two towns away uh i haven't seen them just because i'm working so much um and, and yeah that, that's really rough but but um I, I increased my net worth by almost uh almost 100k inside of three months so that's yeah um guys if you have any questions please let me know uh comment like and subscribe comments are good for the youtube algorithm and let me know if you have any thoughts on what i should cover next all right i love it goodbye meow